It's been two hours since Kagami and Shippo took a ride on Goku's back while flying in the blue sky. Shippo exclaimed as he has more fun by hiding on Goku's back. Kagomi chuckled as she noticed Shippo was having fun. Goku wouldn't mind but smile at them. When they finally arrived at Mount Peoza, Goku landed on the ground with his big feet then Kagami, and Shippo got off his back and got some fresh air. The two of them were looking around at the field and the house where Goku lives with his family. Wow, this place sure is nice, would you agree, Shippo? Kagami said with a smile. Yeah, Shippo exclaimed. It's even nicer than the forest from the feudal era. I agreed with you, Shippo, Kagami said, looking around at the green field and blue sky with filled white clouds. This is the place where Goku lives. Yep, that's my home, Goku said with excitement look on his face. I lived in the house with my wife and my son Gotten. Shippo leaped at Goku's shoulder with a curious look on his face. What does your son Gotten look like Goku? He asked, gleaming his blue eyes. Well Gotten looks just like me as mini me, Goku told the little fox. He also wears blue armbands, which he previously didn't, and his hairstyle still resembles that of his me. When not fighting, he wears a blue sleeveless chang, shen with green trim, and a lavender long sleeve, shirt underneath with white folded sleeves, and a long red sash tied around his waist which was concealed beneath his chang shan, lavender Chinese pants with white folded sleeves and black kung fu shoes. Shippo gleamed again. Really? Yeah. Goku nodded with a smile. Kagami walked beside him. I think Gotten and Shippo will be good friends with each other, she said. I deduce that Gotten and Shippo will be new friends when they first meet. I think you were right, Kagami, Goku said. My son and Shippo will be best friends, just as Trunks and Gotten were. Trunks? Shippo said with a confused look on his face. Goku nodded again. Yeah. Trunks is Vegeta's son. Vegeta? Kagomi blinked her brown honey eyes curiously. Vegeta is the prince of the fallen Saiyan race. Goku told the young priestess. He is the eldest son of King Vegeta, the older brother of Tarbal, the husband of Bulma, and the father of Trunks. I see, Kagomi murmured, sounding too curious about his friends and families. She began to smile and tell him. I think your family and your friends sound nice. Thanks, Kagami, Goku exclaimed. But what is the Saiyan Goku? Shippo asked him curiously. Oh, Saiyans known as people of the Saiyan is a race of extraterrestrials, Goku explained to him. I was born on planet Vegeta right before my parents sent me to Earth. Nearly all of the Saiyans from Universe 7 were obliterated by Frieza before my life starts. I grew up and raised by my grandfather Gohan on planet Earth then I married Chi Chi and have my two sons, Gohan whom I've named after my grandfather and gotten. Are your sons half Saiyans? Kagomi questioned him. I may say if Chi-Chi is a human, and if you're the Saiyan, then that means your sons were half-Saiyans to be known as a half-breed. I wasn't trying to be rude by calling your sons half-breeds. Goku smiled at her you're fine, Kagomi, he said. But yes, they are, but my older son Gohan is a half-breed Saiyan, and Gotten is a Saiyan and Earthling hybrid that I and Chi-Chi made. Shippo blinked in surprise and his eyes gone widened. You mean you and Chi-Chi did have? Okay, Shippo. Kagomi interrupted him covering him in the mouth to make him quiet as she chuckled in embarrassment. I don't think we shouldn't talk about that. Talk about what? Goku asked curiously as he gleamed his black eyes. Whoa, you know what it means, mister? Kagomi scolded him. You told us you and Chi Chi made your younger son a Saiyan, an earthling hybrid. Don't you know what it means, Goku? Goku blinked. Um, love? Shippo exclaimed, screaming and freaking out as he went hiding in Kagami's silky black hair while he was blushing heavily. Kagami has a satisfied smile. Yes love. You and Chi Chi made love then Gotten was born. So it does work. Goku asked her curiously. Kagami nodded. Yep. Geez Goku. You don't know everything? You were supposed to know everything when you're an adult. Well here we are. Home sweet home. Goku said as all three of them were outside in front of the big house that looked like a giant rock. Kagami thought his house reminded her of the caveman, who lives in the cave in the big rock house. Right now, all three of them were heading inside the house, and it looked clean and nice. Kagami had never seen this place so nice before. It's even nicer than the hut from the feudal era. Chi Chi. Gotten. I'm home. Goku called, walking around the house. I brought someone into our house who wanted to stay here for a while. Goku, is that you? It was Goku's wife who called back, and then came out of bed. Kagami knew who she is. His wife wears her hair in the same hairstyle as in the Majin Buu saga with a yellow martial arts, uniform, with a purple sash, white long sleeves, a purple cloth around her shoulders, turquoise pants, blue martial arts shoes, 
green earrings, and red lipstick. She knew it was Chi Chi. Goku gave a greeting smile. Yep, that's me, honey, dad. It was their son Gotten who appeared from hiding behind the wall. Then he ran towards him and embraced his torso. Whoa there, buddy. Goku chuckled with a smile as he embraced back his son. It's good to see you, too, Gotten. Goku, who is this young and the little fox? Chi Chi asked her curiously, pointing at Kagomi and Shippo with her fingertip. This is Kagomi Higarashi and her son Shippo. Goku introduced to them. I've saved them from the demons, so I'll let them stay in Mount Paoza. Chi Chi gave them a smile with a great look on her face. Hello, Kagami and Shippo, she greeted them kindly, bowing down to them. I'm Chi Chi, Goku's wife. Nice to meet you both. Nice to meet you, too, as well. Chi Chi, Kagomi greeted back. I'm Gotten, he said with a smile who was hiding behind Goku's back. Kagami knew he looked nervous when he never really met them before. Shippo then leaped at Gotten, which made them back away a bit. Hello, I'm Shippo. Nice to meet you. Gotten, he exclaimed kindly to the little boy. Gotten stared at him as he gleamed his black eyes. He then walked toward him and tell him, Are you a fox? Shippo nodded his head. Yeah, I'm a friendly fox. I won't hurt you. I promise. Gotten began to poke him in the nose carefully. I've never really met a talking fox like you, he said as he started to stroke his head. I think you look adorable as a puppy. Shippo began to giggle as Gotten kept petting which made everyone chuckle while watching them. I bet they'll be great friends when they'll get along with each other, Chi Chi said with a smile. I agree with you Chi Chi, Kagomi nodded her head. I'm sure Shippo and Gotten will be best friends. Well Kagomi, Goku said with a smile, you are welcome to stay in our house, but tomorrow I'll let you two meet my friends. I'm sure you'll like them, Kagomi smiled at him and say, thank you, Goku.